Hi guys, welcome to our new topic. Our new topic for this video, we will talk about Array and PHP. Just like with my previous videos, um, the flow of my discussion, first I will discuss the definition and so um, hopefully I can insert some illustrations so that you can comprehend more. Next, um, most of my videos or actually all of my videos, I inserted um, examples or exercises and so that you can understand it well. And lastly, of course, I will show it to you on how to do it. Okay, so let's get started. First things first, the definition. So what is the definition of an array? So if we will talk about array, array, it is a data structure that stores or more similar type of values in a single value. So for example, if you want to store 100 numbers, then instead of defining 100 variables, it's easy to define an array that contains 100 length. Okay, so for you to understand more about what I discuss about the definition, it's better to have this kind of illustration. So the array will look like this, okay? So first, we need to um, check uh, what is our array size. Based on this illustration, our array size or the length of our array is 10, meaning it can contain 10 values okay so and also by the way array by default it starts with zero okay that is the index okay the first index it's zero and of course it ends with nine because again our array length it's only 10 so if we will count this one plus the zero we only have nine okay this is called index this one this is called index and for this one this is actually called an element if you can see it here this one this is an element so for example i will store here a i will store here small letter b C, D, uh, I'll put here 221, um, 6, um, Z, V, um, H, capital letter H, then I. So if you can see all of these values, these values are actually called element. So if ever that I will call the value if, I, if ever that I will call the index 3 it will show me a value D okay so hopefully you somehow um, understood um, the meaning of the array okay let's proceed about the types of an array so if we will talk about types of an array we have three first uh, we have numeric or what we call index type of array we also have associative we also have multi uh, it's multi-dimensional type of an array so we will talk here about 2d 3d type of an array okay so for this video we will talk first about numeric or index type of an array so in our succeeding videos i will talk about associative and multi-dimensional type of array. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do before we will um, start um, doing our numeric type of array, we need to first create our array. So in PHP, the array function like this is used to create an array. So basically this is the syntax. Take note on this one. So array with parentheses and semicolon. Okay, next, the array length. So in array length, um, just like what I said earlier, 
And the array length it's it's equivalent to the size of array. So we need to use a function count function so that um, it will provide us the length or the size of an array. Some actually are using um, size of we can actually use a size of type of function you can put here your array so aside from the count we can also use the size of okay so basically this is the syntax in um, in creation of an array aside from the creation of an array um, the use of array length which is the count so basically upon checking here we have three values, so um, it will echo three. So the length or the size of our array, it's three. Okay, so see. So in a numeric type of an array, it can basically store a number, a string, an object, but their index will be represented by numbers. Again, we will start with zero. For example, the array size or the array length. Uh, the array size is equivalent to um, six. So basically, we will start with index zero going to index five. Okay? Again, it's by default that we will start with zero so there are two ways in creating our index type of array so first we need to um, create an array that automatically assign our index or for example um, it will automatically assign the values of our index so if we will check this example we have fruits fruits is our array name don't forget about that okay fruits it's actually our variable for our array name and our array apple banana and cherry this is basically um, our array function we use the array function the apple which is the index zero banana banana value it's actually our index one and cherry it's our index two or our last index so this is on how we can um, assign automatically our values in a specific index so how about if we will um, create an index array that can be assigned manually so if you can see here in the example we have um, without using an array something like this we are actually creating uh, fruits then zero apple meaning this is the index zero array fruits with an index one meaning this is banana value fruits number two index two that contains a cherry type of value or element value or element is the same don't forget about that length and size it's the same okay so let's go directly with our first example. But before that one, let me try to... Mm -hmm. I need to... I need to turn on... Start my XM. And aside from that one... I also need to um, open my Visual Studio Code. One moment. Okay. We're already here. Okay. So I think we can start now. We can continue, by the way. Okay. So what is our first example? This is so easy. So we will now try to create um, a program that basically um, uses a numeric type of array by, sh uh, by following this output. So if you can see my favorite fruits 
it's still the same apple banana and cherry so let's start let me go ahead and create a file I will save this first to the HD docs basically this is array example one dot php don't worry i will be sharing all the files in our google drive okay let's get started of course you need to use the doc type start with html you need to and also with html aside from that um, we can just actually create a head for our title so for example let me adjust the appearance one moment there mm -hmm. there title um example one this is title uh okay let's let put numeric array one so inside the body, of course, this is the part where I will now insert my PHP code, right? Of course, I need to close it. Okay, let's start. So if we will check the output, this is the output, my favorite fruits. Okay, so first... Uh, we will be using fruit still as our um, as our array name then we will be using our array function and we will now include the array value or element uh, first it's the apple next it's ban uh, banana and lastly we have cherry there after that one, uh, we will go ahead and um, echo. First things first, we need to echo uh, my favorite my favorite fruits. Then don't forget to put the br. Then after this one, we'll do echo again. Echo, this is actually intended for um, hmm, um, the fruits, then the zero. Oh no, I forgot to put the one. Dot, dot, there. Um, the dot here, it's actually the concatenation. Don't forget about that. Dot again okay let me go ahead and do something like this i'll just copy this one change this one to two change this one to one so that it will display the banana and i will change this one to three and two and save it let's try running this code one moment localhost this is array oh i forgot to put the the vr we're almost there mm -hmm. there you go there it's working it's the same or you can actually use another one which is um uh a while ago we actually use we will just go back to the presentation we can actually use this one okay so let me open again my visual studio code we can put on um, fruits then sorry fruits we'll put here zero then we can put apple copy that one okay mm, one here two here 
put banana and this one it's cherry see that if you will refresh it it would still look the same because um, th these two ways on how to use um, the numeric type of array it's perfectly um, perfectly working there so let's proceed to our next example uh, we still have example number two you can actually I forgot you can also check the codes that I inserted um, in our um, in our slides okay example number two okay um, this is still the same um, however uh, we will be using a uh, we'll be using a loop okay we'll be using loop in displaying all the elements of an array so how to do it so basically I will just create another file it's that one there save it and this is array x2.php okay I'll be erasing this one okay let's start so again um, uh, for our example number two um, it would still um, it's actually the same as our example number one but in displaying it instead of um, instead of doing it manually just like this we will use a loop so that it will be easily for us to display it and so that you will know how to use the um, the count or the size of okay so first um, of course we need to create our fruits um, ta um, array I will insert apple here after inserting apple I'll be inserting banana and I'll be inserting cherry then semicolon after that here uh, this is the part where I will be using the array length um, count basically we are um, getting if you will check the flow of the code for, if you will check here in the line number nine um, for example if the fruits are based on this code um, variable fruits which contains an array contains three sides so it will count then it will pass through the array length so that array length will be using that this one in our loop so let's start creating our loop so um, variable x equals to zero sorry then variable x still it's less than the array length semicolon then x plus plus so inside here we'll be putting mm -hmm, echo fruits then call the variable x call the variable x then semicolon and or I think it's better to dot um, br here and save it let's try running this code again localhost if you will click this one it's not working what happened or I think it's better to use an echo here then um, after putting the echo here we will insert the br and semicolon okay array length oh I forgot the semicolon here basically earlier this should work but unfortunately I forgot to put the dollar sign for the variable array length that's why dot br save it and refresh it there it's working right 
it works perfectly fine. Or we can actually remove this. Instead of using this one, we can actually put size off. Then call this one. And it would still be the same. So basically, the size of and the count, it, um, it actually contains the same purpose to get the size of an array or the length of an array.